You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. We have another special guest for you guys, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, text your buddies, family members, or even share it on social media right now and let them know that we are about to dive deep into another interview. Before I bring my guest on, I do want to say, you know, this is something that you cannot lose. When there are risks and challenges in every direction, where do you get the courage to move forward? The courage depends largely on the things you value most in your life. When you place the most value on fleeting, shallow, superficial things, you're constantly at risk of losing it all. Those things can quickly disappear. Money and material possessions are indeed very useful and can bring a certain richness to life. Yet, if you allow the value of your life to be defined by them, you're building on shaky ground. On the other hand, if you value most those things you cannot lose, you'll have the courage necessary to assume the risk and to take on the difficult challenges. Your faith, your sincere love for others, your integrity, your purpose, your desire to make a difference all have the power to survive whatever difficulties you may face. Whatever happens, there are some things that can never be taken from you, some things you cannot lose. When those things matter most to you, it can give you the confidence to attempt just about anything. Take that from me, Coach Dini. Are you ready? You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. All right, all right. Again, welcome to the show. You're listening to VRL. That's Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go beyond the music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even past that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings. You know, the ones who were out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. Well, again, welcome to tonight's show where we bring you the most fascinating guest and insightful conversation. Conversations. Today we have the honor of hosting Royal Deb, an eccentric and joyful artist from the Caribbean with her roots in St. Anne, Jamaica, and her heart in reggae. Royal Deb's music is a celebration of life and of love, so get ready for an explosive and uplifting conversation with the incredible Royal Deb. And with that, let's welcome her to the show. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Doing great, and how are you? I am great. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a pleasure to uh, have you on the show. So could you start by telling our listeners a little bit about yourself and what you're currently focused on in your music career? Well, um, as you say, I was born in Jamaica, you know, in the parish of St. Anne, you know, Orange Hill. 
And um, I came to this country and, uh, you know, did a lot. And currently now, like you said, moving forward, I guess. I don't know if you want to hear my history, but moving forward, I am, I've gotten into the reggae music. That's something that I always wanted to do. And um, two, three years ago, I decided to start. And it always just filled my soul, especially growing up in the Caribbean in Jamaica. That's something that every kid that born and grew up in Jamaica, reggae, always in their soul and heart, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So I, I yes. believe history is important, but, you know, we don't have to dive mm-hmm. into everything. Uh, I right. just believe that, you know, sometimes history shape who you are. And uh, yes. re- reflecting on your journey so far, what was the biggest moment of self-awareness that you've experienced? And, and how did it shape your path going forward? Um, it, it just... Um, I would take my, I started with the music. I woke up one morning, right? And um, <laughs> I had like a vision. So I knew a producer, um, Andre Betts, with Universal Music Production. And I woke up one morning and my first song was, I called him, I said, Dre, I have a song. Can you put some music to this, you know? And it was called Give Me The Six. And I said to him, Dre, if you put some music to this song, if I win the lotto, I'll give you a million dollars. <laughs> so the next, by two days later, he called me. He said, I got the song. I got the music for you. Debbie, you got to come into the studio right now. Because I was singing it to him over the phone and recorded it. And he put the beat to it. And then Give Me The Six was born. The next thing, I'm doing All My Ladies and videos and everything and i'm just having fun and now the next song somebody for everybody is created and i have some songs in the vault and we we are pushing forward for the album and for other music and songs and um live performances coming up for me so i'm like grateful to the most high you know Absolutely. That that is incredible how, you know, something that you wanted to do just manifested so quickly and it became something else to uh music videos, you being as stylish as you are. I've seen them, I've seen them, you're very stylish. You know. You're so- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, very stylish. So it's it's not hard to not notice you. Uh, oh. <laughs> and, and then you sound just as incredible as you look so uh very very like your journey has just been incredible watching it unfold uh as you mentioned your latest single is somebody for everybody it has a beautiful message um what inspired this track well you know um when uh dre put the music together and we sat there one night and he's like we cannot get the words and all of a sudden he's like you know what let's start put some words together you know, and then somebody for everybody. And I'm like, you know what? That's true. That's true fact. There is somebody for everybody in this world. And all of a sudden, we start to come up with the words and start to put the music together. I keep, keep, I keep going into the booth. He's like, go back into the booth. There is something else coming. And something hit me and something hit him. And we just start to put it together. All of a sudden, everybody is singing the chorus. There's, it was so, so catchy. And it was like, okay, this is it. There's somebody for everybody, you know? And all of a sudden, everyone is catching on to it. And we're like, you know what? This is a great team. And I have a lot of friends that reach out to me and say, you know what, Debbie? I'm going to go find my somebody now. <laughs> and that's yeah. like, Debbie, it's 10 years. You know your song telling me, so now I need to go find my somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So, as you mentioned, uh, that you collaborated with renowned producer Andre Betts on the single. Um, I'm not sure how how far you two go back, but uh, the creation of the song just seemed like the perfect partnership. Um, So, once you got to the studio, what was the whole atmosphere like? Well, I mean, the studio was amazing. I mean, 
Um, he he's a great producer. He, he produces so many big top, you know, artists. Madonna, J Lo, a lot of the other guys. Them, you know, like a lot of rappers and all of that. And that, that studio I was amazed. I've never been behind one of those um, mic. And my husband came with me, and my daughter came with me, and I was behind that. And then my soul opened up. And I said, yes, this is it. This is what I wanted from when I was in Jamaica because I used to be on the stage and I just feel the power start to come out of my soul in that thing. I said, yes, this is it. This is it. Some people say, oh, Debbie, you start late. I say, I didn't start late. I'm here now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what matters. You're here now. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So, growing up in St. Anne, Jamaica, you were immersed in the reggae music scene. Um, how did the legends um, like Bob Marley and Gregory Isaacs influence your music? Oh, my gosh, man. Let me tell you something. It's like, and he was born in St. Anne to uh, Bob Marley. I used yeah. to go to all his concerts and Gregory Isaac and all of them. And, I mean, I used to run out the house. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> my parents... Where you been? I've been to one of the Bob Marley concerts, or I'm at one of the reggae shows, and just everything, the, the street dance at night, they put the music out, the sound, you're on the stage, and all night, you're out there um, rubber dubbing, dancing, Bob Marley music, just fill my soul. I know almost all his songs by heart, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, he used to come through St. Anne. I remember when he would come back through the country, and we would see him, you know, before his death and everything. We would see him a few times live, you know, and direct. And, you know, until his passing, I was standing right there when they passed with him, too. So he's a legend, man. He's a legend. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the, there is a music video for somebody, for everybody, and it really showcases your style. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if it showcases all of your styles. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more to you when it comes to dressing. Uh, yeah, I'm serious about that. I feel like you, you probably, you know, make head turn. Yeah, I think so. My husband would agree with that. Yeah. So I how? Go put something together. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you're wonderful though at that. Um, how do you use visuals to enhance your music? Well, um, you know, I, I I I think of the colors. So in my soul, I'm like, okay, this song, like the song is in my head, and I'm thinking this color will look good with this. And all of a sudden, I'm putting it together, and the colors just just coming in my head and I'm like putting everything in and I'm like walking and I'm just I feel fire in my blood you know and the vibes it's the vibes of the song so once I hear the vibe I'm like oh you know what this outfit is for this part of the song and this outfit is for this part of the song and that's how I roll with it and I feel good when I did that you know Absolutely. and I'm always dressing up anyway I'm I mean, sometimes when I dress up, people say, you, I say, well, that's my dress down. They were like, what? Your dress down is my dress up. Everywhere I go, they ask me if I'm a designer, if I'm a, if I'm a stylist. It's, it's like, where did you get those shoes? Where did you get those shoes from? Where did you get that? Where did you get all those clothes and jewelry? How do you match yourself so well? And I'm like, it just come naturally. And oh, everybody think I'm a designer. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. understand. <laughs> and then a lot of people who are in the music getting themselves started or been in, they call me after they saw my video to go shopping with them, to help dress them. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> and I do go and help them, and I'm like, no, that, that, that. And they were like, and their videos look so good in the stuff that I picked out for them, like really fire. It pops, you know? Absolutely. So that's what I told them. Let it pop. You have to let it pop. Go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So how did those conversations go? Like they call you up, say, uh, can you can you uh pick me pick out something for me to wear or can you style yes. my next photo shoot or Yes. 
Yes, they call me. Can you go with me to the store? We need you to pick out stuff. I have this video or I have this photo shoot. Can you please help me? And even when I'm like, okay, come on, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's get the hair done. And I never ask for anything. I do everything from my heart. I'm a giver. I'm a big giver. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like you were yeah. saying before, you give and the blessings will flow from above. You know, I don't, I don't give and then say, oh God, give it back to me. No, I just let it flow. Let yeah. all the blessings fall on my children, children to come. So that's how I do, you know? That's what I'm talking about. I love mm-hmm. that. I'm speaking from my heart, you know? And I'm just telling Absolutely. you how, how, just how things is. Mm-hmm. Cause I was going to say, uh, that sounds like a business, but, you know, if if you're pouring out love and blessings like that, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let it yes. flow and let it be as it as it may. And, and, yes. and, may the, and may the Most High continue to bless yes. you and your generations and the generations to come after them. Yes, man. Yes, that's it. That's what I'm talking about, the Most High. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. All right, all right, guys. We have a yes. wonderful track. It's called Somebody for Everybody. And then we'll, when we come back, we'll put Royal yes. Deb in our traditional hot seat to where she can perform for us if she wants to. She can rap, sing, okay. poetry, spoken okay. word, tell a joke, tell okay. a story, give yes. some advice, or do nothing at all. That is cool as well. But for right now, <laughs> here it is Somebody for all Everybody. Right. Stay tuned. Thank you. Yes. Well, if a man out the girl, you know, if you go look and find your man, them. Bushman, doctor man, any kind of man, them out the field. Some man, them want a big girl. Some man, them want a skinny girl. Some girl want man to love and protect. Some girl only want man for sex. Big man, big man. bedroom bully type. Bully type. Bully type. Bully type. Some man want a old rich girl to do anything him like. Girl all like mommy. No teeth in her mouth, so she gummy. Fat boy, they call him Toby. Credit card, let the girl them love him. That's why me say, there's somebody for everybody. Short, tall, fat, or skinny. There's somebody for everybody. Give me lots of love, cause me need plenty. There's somebody for everybody. Short, tall, fat, or skinny. There's somebody for everybody. Some girl want a man with a woman at home. But him still want room. Some tall girl like short man. Some ugly girl like support man. She just want the man them to love her. Spend the night and just hold her. Many men, them no like smart girl. No brains in her head, but she that girl. Two drinks and she about to spend the night girl. That girl. Many men want more than one girl. Two, three, four, even five girl. Five pitney, four baby daddy. That girl. There's somebody for everybody. Short, tall, fat, or skinny. There's somebody for everybody. Give me lots of love, cause me need plenty. There's somebody for everybody. Short, tall, fat, or skinny. There's somebody for everybody. Break out your wallet, bad boy. Too much man, them look big out toy. We always hear the same noise. Me rich, me this, me that. Too much talk, we want action. Drive and meet me down south. Park up the car in a brand new house. Credit card limit, bigger than his spouse. She out. There's somebody for everybody. Short, tall, fat, or skinny. There's somebody for everybody. All right, all right, all right. I hope you caught the vibes with that one. Somebody for everybody. And that is so true. Just because you don't see them around you don't mean they're not out there. Move around a little bit, as my mom would say. (laughs) You can't see that because you're standing still. Move around a bit, son. Move around a bit. And you'll see a whole lot of what God has made. Amen, amen for that. So let's go ahead and and invite Royal Deb back to the show. Hey, 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 you're back live with us. And in our hot seat, what are you going to perform for us? Okay. uh, (laughs) I'll give you a little snippet of what's to come that's you know like to say a little rap into okay um make way for my entry 
Who that them a ask when they see me coming through, riding slow in my Bentley. Then they know me a class. Diamonds, watch, rings, and suit that made by Versace. Hermes eyeglass, everybody that passed, I could hear them screaming, Royal Deb. They got to have me, a real badly. I'm a girl with quality. That's why I walk like a champion, talk like a champion. That's what you know, a little bit to call. <laughs> All right, that is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yes. Yes. Indeed. All right. Where can our listeners connect with you online? Yes, I am on um, Spotify. No, I'm on I'm on Instagram. Royal Dev Seven Two One. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Facebook, and the video is on YouTube, and that's where they could connect with me. All right, right. listeners, just in case you need those links, I will have them in the description of this episode and in the show notes. So all you guys have to do is just click those links. I want to thank you so much, Royal Dev, for sharing your story, your insights with us. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show uh, and, and listening to your vibrant life philosophy. Uh, your yes. your uh, warming collaborations, performances, and the positive messages that you spread throughout your music. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Could I just say one more thing real quick? Sure Not thing. only I'm a reggae artist, I'm also a martial artist. And I train with my family for years. I'm a ninth degree black belt. My husband is a tenth and my daughter fifth. So we also a family that kicks together, sticks together. So that I just want to throw that in there. We have lots of students. And we give back to the community, and that's what we do. Wow, a martial artist. <laughs> yes. Fiat <laughs> champion, national champ, world wow. champ. I've been all over the world, too, and competing. Get out of here. Wow. Yes. Incredible. Barcelona, London, everywhere, yes. I have jiu-jitsu training. I do kabuto. I do the weapons, kata, fighting. And, you know, we kick some. <laughs> and, and we train a lot of students and help, help the community. We have over 100 students, and we give back and train. Yeah. 30, yeah, my husband volunteered 30-something years, never charged a dime seven days a week after he leave his job. And that's what he did. And he's still doing it and helping even more now. And that's what we do. So. Wow. Yep. That's incredible. Yes. So when did, when did you get involved in martial arts? Well, through my, I met my husband. One day I took my daughter to karate, and the teacher, I was, you know, she joined, and then I decided to join. And like a year later, you know, that, that, that teacher of mine started to hit on his student. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a daughter, you know, we, have, we have four children, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look at Mr. So. Larry. All right. <laughs> Larry Barr, Mr. Larry. Mr. Larry. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So, that's, yeah, I want, that's, that's yeah cool. I wanted to share that to that. Yep, we also train it, you know, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And it keeps our life stable. That's important. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good to yes. know. Yes. All right. Well, we yes. thank you so much for joining us tonight, and and we wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Bless up. One love. And have a great, great evening. Thank you. You too. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, what's up, long time? I forgot to mention that. Oh, by the way, this is Dini. You know, Vigilantes Radio Live. Uh, VP of Operations for Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, Only One Theory dropped a new single. It is called La Hefecita. It's on Spotify. As a matter of fact, it's on all major platforms. You should check it out right now. Oh, and by the way, there's also a visual on YouTube. It's hot. Check it out today. OnlyOneTheory.com Check that out too. Thank you 
my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website, which again is only one media group.com. And that goes for every single show that we've ever aired. If you like to request music or send something for me to play, email it to vradio at only one media group.com. That is V as in Victor. And here's my disclaimer we are genre free, we do not judge, and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone. And actually, scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show, so deal with it. <laughs> Just kidding. On behalf of myself, Denny, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in, either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stuffed up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, TikTok, at all social media sites, as well as Spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace love grilled cheese and talk with you later You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds, of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive. What's up, guys? It's Dini, and I want to welcome you on a journey of the heart and of the mind. These Fucking Feelings podcast is a beacon in the world of mental health advocacy, and it invites you to join a conversation that's changing lives. We are here to share, listen, and grow together. Led by the passionate Micah Bravery, alongside the insightful Rebecca and Crystal, This award-winning podcast dives deep into the human experience, from navigating relationships to coping with loss. No topic is off limits. It's about real stories and real emotions. These fucking feelings is more than just a show. It's a community, a place where vulnerable isn't just accepted. It's celebrated. You can find it across major platforms, including YouTube and Facebook Watch. This podcast is a touchstone for anyone seeking understanding and support. These fucking feelings podcast where every emotion is valid and every story matters. Tune in and transform the way you see mental health.